Good morning, it's the second day here in Tenerife. It's 9 a.m. Plan of the day is, first of all, we're gonna go up Mount TD, which is like 3,000 meters high. It's like the highest, higher than any peak in Spain, all the Pyrenees apparently. So it's pretty sick up there. Hope you'll be able to film. And we get straight to a Savvy Design, Buena Vista, hope I pronounced that properly. And today I'm playing with a challenge, ex-challenge tour player. He's got quite a lot of Savvy stories, apparently. A bit younger than him, but he kind of grew up um, just getting, he played like a European tour event, kind of the time when Seve was just finishing his career. So obviously Seve Design, um, we're going to make this a bit of a Seve special and hopefully play some good golf. But first year Mount Seeding, so enjoy. It's just, just me really, but my wife, um, How much longer till the top? From here to the top, uh, probably uh, to get there, probably 30 minutes and to the top. 20 minutes on my lift. Or on the cable car. Cable car, yeah. Wow. So we just made it to the base camp of Mount TD. Just about to get in this cable car. This is 2,200. 2,200. And yeah. we got to, so it's 3,500. Is that right? 3,500 is the, 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 right top, the top. top is 3,700, uh, 3, but we okay. get to 3,004, something like that. It's, uh, yeah, it's yeah, good because yeah, yeah. it's clear today, but oh, yeah, it's, it's actually yeah. see. Yeah, we're going to see. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see. Uh, we can normally see five islands. You can see the sea or the clouds oh, we see the, covering. Yeah, we see the sea and we see <laughs> normally five islands. Really? Yeah, depending on, uh, yeah. Well, like Future Rancher. Uh, for the tour is a bit too far, we see Gran Canaria, El Hierro, La Palma and La Gomera. Cool. Je vais parler français. Huh? Yeah. Comme ça tu traduiras après. Oui, je oui. passe un très bon moment ici avec vous. Yeah. Et je suis content. I want to know what he's saying. Ouais. So this is Carlos, who is, uh, well, we're going to be playing together yeah, this afternoon yeah, today. at Buena Vista, yeah. which is great. Yeah. So Carlos is ex-challenge tour. Yeah, I guess golfer. so, yeah, yeah, I played a little bit there. <laughs> he's uh, been saying he's not been playing as much recently. Right? No, no, I've been, I haven't played in, in a lot, a long time, over 20 years almost. <laughs> 20 years? I, I don't play as a professional. Yeah, okay. I play golf, yeah, I play golf every year, of course. We still have a good game today, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think you beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the last time this erupted was was uh, was when? Yeah, okay, the big volcano, we are now at, at 3,500 meters uh, high. Yeah. And this big volcano uh, erupted in uh, uh, 1789, the big one. We had another eruption in a smaller volcano right nearby, which was in 1909. That okay. was the last one in Tenerife, the last eruption in Tenerife, yeah. So it's not due to... Uh, no, hopefully not. <laughs> I think my party lifestyle over the last four years is, is now catching up on me. We're like three and a half thousand feet and I can barely breathe. Everyone else is like, what do you mean? It's fine. I must go on. Of times. Uh, yeah, mate, I just need to sit down a minute. Like. Yeah, they, uh, this is uh, from here. We, we see normally three islands. Uh, we see La Palma there, which actually we see today with the, with the sea of clouds. Yeah, uh -huh. right there. We see La Gomera, should be is right there, but it's <laughs> under it's the clouds. In the clouds somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And then we see El Hierro, which is another island, which is a little bit more to the left there. And uh, we don't see it. But uh, normally you see them, all of them from here. And uh, La Palma, you see because it's quite high, it's about 2,200 meters there. All right, it's the last stop before we get to the Gulf, yeah. the important bit. So it's been a while. Is it? It's been. I don't. I don't remember. Recently? No, not really. I. I think last time probably a couple of months ago. I would say. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I don't You've play got that some much. Excuses lined. I, I, I'm trying to put as many as I can. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that. <laughs> I'm trying to. Twenty say, years. Twenty, Twenty years. The last time I played golf. No, no, <laughs> yeah. no I played. I played uh, probably about two months. I. I have to say, honestly. I have to say, but I play about ten times. 10 times, maybe once a month, once 10 a times month. a year, 10 times, 12 times a year. I only play sometimes with my sister when she's here and we say, hey, let's play one day. Yeah. Or when for work, I do. His sister's a LET tour player, by the way. Yeah, she's a... So your family, yeah. so you got all the old professionals, right? We, yeah, all my, my, I have one brother, two sisters, but all of them are professional, golf professionals. My sisters, they did play a lot. My brother never played, he only teach. Right. And uh, I played as well. You're the player. Well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you don't want to hype yourself. <laughs> right, so we just got down to Buena Vista Golf Club and uh, already... Scenes are looking very nice. You've got the mountainous background, the water, 
down the coast, which I'll show you as we go. So it's going to get warmed up now, and then there's five par five on this course. So what I'm going to do today, the five holes I'm going to show, are playing the five par fives. Hopefully we can get on the par today, and then the usual showing you like the best bits of the the other pretty bits. Start there trying to hit like a low under the wind shot and hit the snipe, so we need to find it. Right, so I've left myself 117 into this flag on the par five. As you can see, we've got water short and it runs down into there, nothing really long, so I'm gonna try and land this around 120, 125 ish. Start free jab, bogey. See you on five, the next part five. So as we're at Sevy Design, um, you've actually met Sevy. Yeah. I just want you to share your your thoughts and experiences with him yeah, as we play this I met, I met Sevy when I was 17 years old, years old and uh, Sevy at that time he was at the, at the peak of his career. He was my idol. Uh, for me, he was the one that I was looking up to. I remember watching him at the Masters every year because that was you know the best tournament ever, and he was always in contention at the Masters. So. Uh, yeah, that's it's. He's my idol. It's the one that actually made me want to play golf uh, when I was young. So, what can I say about him? He's he's a star. Yeah, what, one of the things that I love about watching Sevi, I watch him play live many times, and it was his short game. I think he was a magician on the on the on the on the playing off and especially when with his pattern and his sandwich uh, watching him practice short game was one of the best things I could do when I when I was in the tournament and watching him practice. Oh, so you've incredible. actually witnessed it firsthand watching him yeah, yeah, hit it was, shots around the green. It was amazing. I mean really with his sandwich, I mean on the bunker, if you see him in the bunker it was amazing just to him, see him how he the touch you know the the feel. The, the, it's it's amazing. He was a magician. His hands were the best, and with a putter, and especially under pressure. I mean, the things that he did under pressure were amazing. So, yeah, that was one of the best things. So I think I'm in that. This is where I could go YouTube and just hit another one and make out that I'm like eagle in every par five, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna drop one and um, probably bogey another par five, great. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, again. It's in there. Yes. Capitalizing on the par fives. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we baguette. <laughs> so this for a six. Oh, that's okay. That's good That's an eight. Yes. Not the most promising start on the par fives. Four over through two. Maybe, Might be maybe. in the lava. Is that in the lava? Yeah, right. Because it, it's just too far. It just rolled and rolled there. It's going to be goodbye to my shiny MBs, I think, after this. You've seen worse. I've seen a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, that could be worse, I guess. I, I've seen, I've seen uh, dents, like, like, uh, like real, like, like proper holes coming out. Proper, yeah. Oh, 
whole 10, this is a 550R par 5 generally. I'm going to play in a temporary green or a different green today, which is about 50 yards short. So it's around 500 yards. That's gone so far. <laughs> I think I'm about 40 yards short of the, of the green we're playing today. So if I don't make a birdie, then I might as well just go in. 130 yards to the real green, but we've got like 40 into this one. All right, another par five time. This time it's the 13th, which is about 490, 500 yards straight down here with the, the sea crashing in the background. Straight down wind. Well, straight the, down, yeah, cool. I mean, where'd you go here? Just straight? Straight down, and uh, there's a there's a little valley there. I, I'm sure you can make it over that. Yeah. And uh, but just straight down. You pretty much straight. hit it anywhere, can you, Danny? Like, yeah, these these two holes you can go left and right, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> I think you'll be fine down yeah, this that, hole. Yeah, that's that's perfect for me. First six times was left. Now six times right. It's time for a straight one. Yeah. But yeah. it's unusual for Germans to be so erratic, isn't it? <laughs> Usually yeah. that. Yeah. Usually, we are only doing Stumped what we're him. supposed to do. <laughs> Stumped him. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's perfect. Oh my god, that ball is there. so far away. In the sky. I mean, you can see some unbelievable scenes down on the green in a minute. Like these waves are proper crashing as well. You saw them just now, but the area we're in now, I think you see it all. I'll try and get a cheeky little thumbnail down here. We're in the fairway, that's 100 meters, I think I've got. I think I've got like a hundred yards in. It's a 400 yard drive. We're now on the left side of the 16th green at Buena Vista. Amazing scenery and, uh, and, and scenes in general. But I was just going to share the best Seve story, so I'll let you go first. Yeah. What's your favorite? My favorite? Okay, or shot? The, favorite yeah, shot. Sure. Uh, let's talk about shots. Uh, the, the favorite shot, there's a couple of them actually. Very difficult to decide because he has some of the best shots in golf history. Probably. There's a good catalog of them. Yeah, yeah there is. I mean, really. And, and, uh, I, to, I, let's, I, I like to talk about two of them. Um, one of them is, is uh, the shot that, uh, that in, the, in, the, in the, how do you call it, the, the, op the British Open, when, yep. he, when he won that shot in, in St. Andrews, when, when he made that putt, yeah, yeah, actually yeah. became his logo in his uh, foundation. Yep. His logo is that when he's doing that. And then another shot that, that was incredible was again in, a, in the British Open, we had to hit it between the bunkers. And uh, he just yeah. hit an incredible chip there. To have the balls to do that, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's crazy. a lot. I mean, actually, Johnny Miller says that it's one of the best shots he's ever seen. I mean, uh, that was the like, year that Johnny Miller won, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and he was like, so yeah. he was 19? Yeah, he was very, very young. Yeah. And uh, another one that I, I didn't see, but I was at the place, I was talking to you about before, is yep. in, in Switzerland, there's a place there where there's a plaque where it says, from here, Sevi shot. Sevi hit, hit, hit the green. And if you go there and you sit there, you could not imagine, it's almost impossible. It's yeah, you've almost impossible. seen it, haven't you? You've seen I've, the plaque. I've seen the place, the plaque and where it is. And it's, a, it's one of the, those things that you can really, it's amazing. It's mad. Yeah, my favorite's definitely, it's a, a chip shot again. Yeah. It's, I think it was at Lipham, it and is. he'd already won the Open at that point, but he was left side of the green on 18. Yeah. And he had a chip, like on a downhill slope, up, up a, bit of, a bit of rough, just like on the edge of the fringe type area. And just chipped onto the green, it lipped out. But I mean, that's just a standard chip shot, but to do that, on the last hole of the open with everyone around you to hit yeah, that good a chip shot, it's just insane. Yeah, it's fantastic, it's fantastic. <laughs> last part five of the day, 
Yeah, that's what probably. 414 meters, yeah. which is what? Four, downwind. 50. 450 yards. Yeah. Downwind. downwind. I'm, not hitting, I'm not hitting driver. No, no. Right, so we've got a chance Actually, of getting back to. You have trouble making it on the front with your driver yourself. Yeah. I really was yeah, run out of room. It goes to the right. Okay, I think we're just going to hit a four iron right. in play. Yeah. Trying to get back to level for the par fives. Wait for the green to clear, but I've got 168 from this lie. Hitting a wedge, downwind massively. So we've got a chance. 